Hey YouTube, this is Megan's Apathetic Car Reviews, or as I like to call it, Parts and Emotional Labor. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? For the uninitiated, these reviews are meant to provide a unresearched, disinterested perspective on supercars, or luxury cars, or whatever. So today, we are uh, reviewing the BMW. Mm -hmm says M3. Yep. What is the name of it? It's just M3? Yep. That's, okay, that's BMW it. M3. You know, I don't know that much about BMW, just like I don't know much about anything with cars, right? I don't know much about cars. I know that the more M's you have, the cooler I think it is. Um, <laughs> escalating M's generally equate oh, so this to more three, price. so this is three M's? Yes. Oh, okay. This is a three M. BMWs, right? They're not supercars. They're sports cars, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think anybody wants to argue that. I would say they're luxury cars, but they make sport, sporty luxury they're cars. They're sporty, really sporty. These are sporty luxury cars. I yeah. don't know how you want to. And, and you know, those are nebulous categories. Yes. Luxury car, sports car, super car. Right, right. Although I just bought a little baby book for my, my infant son. And it does have a picture of a Porsche that says sports car and right, hey, hey, hey. right next to it, a picture of a Lamborghini that says super car. <laughs> but, out of this. Well, yeah. You gotta find the BMW in that book if there is one. Yeah, I'll see if there's a BMW and yeah. see what it says. It's like lawyer's car. There's a lot of fanboys of BMWs. There's a huge number of BMWs out there, right? In a previous episode, we actually, I provided what I think is a good synopsis of uh, what I think of the price structure of BMWs. That's the other thing about those BMWs. BMWs, another one, with like Porsche and BMW, they stay the same all the time. They look the same, I swear to God, year to year. And you can't tell the $60,000 BMW from the $180,000, except that maybe it says M something on the back. That would give you an indication. <laughs> the color schemes on these cars are generally very joyless, which is, they are. Yeah. They are silver, black, silver, black, gray, yeah. White. Um, you know, it's just like very sensible colors that are good for resale. Generally with BMWs, it's a guy who's maybe in his early to mid 40s who does finger guns when he says hi to you. Yes. And he wears one of those bike caps with the bill that goes up even when he's not on his bike. He has a skincare regimen. You know, he's just very sensible. Loves espresso. Maybe he's a CPA at a moderately successful accounting practice. He drives to work and he's listening to the Eagles and he's like, mm. <laughs> it's just a sensible guy. Um, driving his gray car to his boring vanilla job. That's reasonable pain. Yeah, that, that pays, that, uh, that is a good cost of living. It probably is a good work-life balance too. He's oh, just yeah. got it figured out. out the door. Yep. <laughs> and they're like, you know, and he's like one of those guys when you ask him like how his day is going, he's going, living the dream. Um, <laughs> that's the BMW guy, right? And good on them. But obviously this car, this M3, which is, uh, I'm sure, superior to uh, lower M's. Where did this color come from? I didn't think that this color was a stock color. This is a factory color. That shocks the hell out of me because- In fact, we heard this is the launch color for this car. What does that mean? It means when they debuted this car back in the day, this was the color they showed it in. Well, I think it's really pretty. It's yeah. a huge departure for BMW. Somebody Ooh. got fired. You know, it's <laughs> like, the very sensible German engineering comes with a very joyless color palette. This is not, this is super fun. Oh, it's a two door. Yep. For whatever reason, I thought it was gonna be a four door, probably because BMWs are sensible. I've heard some people allude to a cult following. Yes. Help me understand why this particular car has a cult the, following. Well, like BMWs obviously have a huge following. It's like the default getting substantial success car, right? And then within that brand, you have the M lineup, which is like their high performance cars. So like you've got the regular three series and then you've got the M3, which is like the badass version of the three series, right? And so the fanboys of BMWs just love the M cars, especially the M3. And in particular, this version of the M3, because you know they've been producing the M3 for a couple decades and they've gone through multiple iterations. I think I could say this fairly, this is probably peak M3. This is peak M3. Yes. This is the one you hear about the most that people want the most, even though it's older. Why is that? 
because the newer ones had some issues and kind of they changed some design things and gave it different engines. So it no longer had the, the inline six, it went to a V8 and then it went to a turbocharged engine. It just kind of got different. This was kind of like the most raw performance version that people love. And it was pretty reliable. Raw. No. You know, it's not like, I don't think of BMW no. cars and think of the raw, but I guess this is raw. It's raw for a BMW. For a BMW. Yeah. And this color is beautiful. I actually love this color. The kind of guy who generally drives a BMW is the kind of guy you marry when you're in your last blush of youth and you're not getting all that much younger. Oh, um, <laughs> that was harsh. <laughs> wow. You know, he's reliable. I mean, <laughs> how many childbearing years do I have left? Um, I'll settle. <laughs> Yeah, I think the outside's pretty. I think it still looks like every other BMW on the face of the earth. Because mm. again, stylistically, very nuanced um, between BMWs. They are look incredibly similar, no sure. matter how expensive or, or, or what the price differential is, which I think is odd. Kind of looks like a, it's a fairly um, unassuming, look, there's nothing like giant hood scoops. Clearly there's there's uh, okay. air pocket thingies there, and air mm -hmm. is important. The rims look good. I don't know if those are stock or- They're not. They're special. They're aftermarket. Do people lower these like they do other sure. super oh, yes. cars? Oh for or? sure, definitely. Okay. definitely. Okay. This one is not, as far as we know. Okay, yeah, because it doesn't, it, I mean, it looks like it's got a good like five inches there or something, so that's, yeah, yeah. somebody lowered that, it, they did it in a very subtle way. <laughs> I mean, it's fairly nondescript. If it were a, a gray car, I'd be like, oh, it's a gray car. But I know you guys probably see all sorts of things. You're like, no, look at that thing. That's way different. Well, the exhaust looks, I mean, it's got four pipes, which generally, unless someone's got something going on with their engine, they don't put like four exhausts on the back yeah. of the car. So like, you know, like I know enough now to know that if there are four exhaust pipes, there's probably something cool about the car. Otherwise they would put one. Wanna hear something funny? What? Exhaust only comes out of two of the four. They did it so it aesthetically looked. But it's only on one side. It's not like one and one, it's these two right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understand they wanted it to look as, I mean, yeah. I, I kind of almost get that. Yeah, it would look offset. It would look had one odd. Set. Okay, for what it's worth, we're going to look at the engine. Yeah. Meh. Mm -hmm. Hello, engine. Yep, it's an engine. Shall we go in? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We're in the M3 with a cult following. Yes. Okay, as usual, I'm a very small person. How does, it, does this go up automatically yet, or do I need to jack it up? You got a jacket. Okay. They're all manual. Whoa. All right, so we're looking at very, like, as expected dash. Like, all the dashes in the BMWs look the same to me, too. Yeah. It's very straightforward. Um, it's nothing glitzy going on here. That is definitely, like, very standard-looking stock. I don't know if there was options for cool things in BMWs or whatever. It seems like the Germans would begin to sound quality. Like, I feel like the Germans would like a uh, high-quality audio. Well, this one's... Business CD. It's a business CD. It means business. <laughs> as, as, as opposed to a recreational CD. <laughs> it yeah. only plays classical music. Right. It's very Bavarian. It, it only plays Mozart and right. Beethoven. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, there's not much to say. It's very straightforward. This says 5MG. What is 5MG? Oh, it's S. Oh. SMG. Okay. That's the transmission. Okay, that's the transmission. Yeah, it's the SMG transmission as opposed to the manual. Nothing is really odd. This is just very self-explanatory and sensible looking in here. Hmm. And again, stylistically, like, I don't know if I'm missing like a hallmark of BMW in here or something, and that's a stylistic point, but it just seems like... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Straightforward. Oh, how much horsepower is in this? Three, was it 380? Uh, I think. 360, something like that. My mommy mini has 300. Yeah. So if I like tuned mine right, like me and Adam, like. Oh, you'd beat it. That, hey. <laughs> and actually, because you've got all the drive, you'd probably beat him anyway in a drag race. I mean, we should probably do that in this episode. I'm just we saying. You might have to. Um, Yours is a BMW. Okay, well, maybe I'll let you two do that at the uh, end of the episode. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Turn it to the on position, but don't like start to crank it. So just turn it to where the power comes on. There you go. All right. Put on the brake. 
and then move the stick over to the left and then you wait for the zero to pop up which it did so now you can start the car that's odd it's kind of like a supercar in that regard yeah it's, it's got a sequence yeah it yeah. does have a sequence oh left and up left further there you go left up yeah okay and then there should be an r on the dashboard where that Zero. Indeed, yep, there is. is. Remember the 430, how it wouldn't go until you give it gas. Yeah, you need to give it a little. Yep. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, at least you can see out the back of it. That's the plus. Mm -hmm. That's the sensible part of BMW. No. So does BMW actually do stick anymore? Or is uh, it gone yeah. the way of everybody no, you can else? Still get sticks. Oh, okay. There are, are escalating M's, right? There's a four yeah. and a five. and Yes. Where does it go to? Eight. M8, yeah. There's the, the, yeah, there's eight levels of M. They didn't always have every number, though. Oh, okay. Like, they've skipped, like, sometimes. There's they've... always some, like, weird rationale for why cars are named certain things. When I start to listen to that stuff, I, like, you know, I start to dissociate and, like, I, to stay conscious, I need to stab myself in the leg with a fork. And it's good visibility. Yep. And it, it, the seat goes up high enough for a five-foot-two person. So that, I mean, to me, that's key. Some of these cars, it just doesn't. And, like, I'm, like, my eye line is, I say this every time with the steering wheel. Playing a leg room. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Just we're getting to know each other here. Shut up, dude. You haunt at me. <laughs> Let's go, BMW. Oh yeah, there's definite delay in the shift. I can hear that immediately. That's a good sound for a BMW. Yeah. Is that the raw thing you were talking about? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was like raw it for a BMW. Pleasant. It does sound pleasant. Yeah, CPA guy's driving to work, he feels like a badass. He's gonna go to Starbucks and buy his decaf. Mmm, yeah, tax season's over. Oh, uh, get some. CPA guy's like, oh, I feel so good. Mmm, I feel dangerous. Put my flaxseed oil in my oatmeal. Mmm. Oh, look. There's your your later brethren. Oh, is that an M3? I think it's an M4. Oh, it has more M's. <laughs> it's got one more we, M. We must defer to him. Uh, oh, know. I should go race him. He would beat you. Maybe his bearing will go. <laughs> Actually, he might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should follow him. <laughs> oh, M4? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Get some M4. <laughs> <laughs> Get some. <laughs> Feeling dangerous. <laughs> Hoo -ah. That flaxseed put a lot of oomph in your stuff. Hell yeah. Oh man, he's oh, man, gone. Man, M4 is like running from the police. What's Dude, going on? He is gone. <laughs> well, so much for that. Yeah. We'll meet again. <laughs> Don't worry, there's like 70 others on, yeah, right? on this road <laughs> That's right the now. other thing. <laughs> I'll get my chance in 10 minutes. <laughs> see? Oh, Lexus. See? Okay, guys. BMW. Dan. Dan. Mm -hmm. At least it's not Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> the Lexus is the more sensible, sensible car. Oh, this Lexus is so boring. It's even more boring than this guy. I don't know. If this guy's like a moderately successful CPA, I don't know what the Lexus person is. Oh, they, they got scared. Yeah. <laughs> Run away. When I'm punching it, like it's manageable, but it's fun. It does have a nice sound relative to the sounds that I have listened to yeah. in reviewing these cars. It's definitely not like evil sounding no. like the supercars. Take that Jeep, I just got my stimulus check. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. TurboTax is sh <laughs> Does this have a radar detector? Yes. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I was going 56 miles an hour. Ah. As poor Adam has to try and rearrange his seat. Yeah. So, in summation, the uh, BMW, uh, 2002 BMW M3, a reasonable amount of M's for a reasonable man. Five, too high. Yeah. Five One, is, not enough. No, not enough. And the number of the counting shall be three. Four, shalt thou not count, neither count thou two, excepting that thou then proceed to three. I think it's fun. I think it's manageable fun. The color is, yeah, I mean, obviously if I were gonna buy a BMW, I'm gonna look for this color, cause that's, I like this color, this greenish color. Although some people say it's yellow, I disagree because I dislike yellow and this is not yellow. 
Um, sorry, Fred. I like your yellow, I'm sure. BMW. At least it's not Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and visit www.normalguysupercar.com for all the parts and services to service your BMW, supercar, or other luxury car.